right, old man. You go on. You whip that horse. I'm only sorry I won't be around to see you die. You all set, Charlie? You hear me, Mr. Keller? I'm telling you, Zeb's gonna find out about this. And you won't none of you have a chance when he does. You hear me? Say your prayers, Carrie. Listen to me! Frank? Suppose he's right about Zeb. I think there's room enough up there for Zeb, too. Put up the sign. Town's a powder keg, Sam. Frank Keller there, he's organized the citizens into a vigilante committee to protect themselves against Zeb Dirksen and his gang. Seems Dirksen wants to take over Arroyo Seco. Figures on making it into a kind of a sanctuary for all the outlaws in the territory. You were telling me about the lynching. Yeah, well, one of Dirksen's boys, he got drunk last week as usual, shot out the town and killed a couple of people. So Keller and his citizens committee, they took him out and strung him up, right on Zeb's nose. That's the way things always start, Sam. Sometimes they don't get over until half the town's dead. You know? How long do you want me to stay there? Well, there's a permanent marshal going in from Albuquerque. You just cover things till he gets there. Shouldn't be more than a week. If you're lucky. I'll try. Huh? Be lucky. Are you leaving now? Uh-huh. How's the garden, Tess? It's already bloomed, Sam. You better hurry back and you'll miss it. Well, I'll try. Sam, what's a vigilante committee? Well, it's hard to explain, Tess. It's usually a group of people who live in a town that doesn't have much law. So they take things into their own hands. Then they aren't good, are they? Well, that depends, Tess. Sometimes it's the only way they can survive, for that particular moment. But the trouble is, they don't always know when to stop. And you're going to talk to them? Uh-huh. They'll listen to you, Sam. I know they will. Be good. Well, I was in. Bye, Tess.
Something serious happened out there? I wouldn't know. Are you in charge here? Not anymore. I'm catching the four o'clock stage out of here, and that's in ten minutes. Place is closed. Well, I'd like a room. I'm the new marshal. Permanent? Well, for now. Well, good luck, Marshal. I reckon you'll need it. Jail's right next door. Ain't been used much since old Sheriff Anderson got himself killed last year. I buried him myself up at Sutter's Grove. Well, it's too bad. Yes, sir, it was. It was. Nice fellow, the Sheriff. About the same build as you, give or take an inch or two. Maybe you can tell me where I can find Frank Keller. I reckon he's still over at the doc's office. If Zeb Dirksen ain't killed him yet. Nice, friendly town. And good luck. Thank you, Marshal. Same to you. You know him, Zeb? I know of him. Sam Buckhart, the educated Apache. Stand up and be counted, boys. We're getting famous. I'm Marshal Buckhart from Santa Fe. Mr. Keller? I'm Keller. If you're here to open an office, Marshal, you're a little late. What happened? Uh, an accident. You afraid to tell the truth, Doc? We don't know the truth, Frank. Aaron got some brandy in the cabinet. Sure. I'll get it, Paul. What truth are you talking about, Mr. Keller? I'll tell you, Marshal. This man laying here, that's Charlie Jackson. Or what's left of him. We found him on the road coming into town with his buckboard piled on top of him. Like Doc says, an accident with intent to kill. Charlie's only mistake was going out with us to string up one of Zeb Dirksen's boys for murder. Well, he's now that bag of bones you see laying there on the table. Frank, we're not sure it's Dirksen. Well, I'm sure. I've got all the proof I need. Mr. Keller, I know about your problems with Dirksen. That's one reason why I'm here. One reason? You name me another. I'm also here to prevent you from making a travesty of justice. You've forgotten the meaning of the word. That happens to be a process of law that fixes the guilt or innocence where it belongs. So suppose you let me get the proof I need. Am I saying so ain't good enough? No, it isn't. And mob rule isn't good enough either. If Charlie Jackson dies, it's murder. It's as simple as that. What are his chances, Doc? Chances? He's dead. Mr. Dirksen? Welcome to Arroyo Seco, Marshal. Well, news travels fast. Your kind does. Would you care to play? Nope. Stakes are too high. Yeah, I suppose they are. I thought you'd like to know. Charlie Jackson just died. That's too bad. Careless men have careless accidents. And careless killers get caught eventually. Yes, I suppose they do. Amy, my boy, thanks for the contribution. You know, some of my best friends have been on the side of the law. Marshal? Dirksen, if you knew me, you'd put that money back in your pocket. Chiricahua? That's right. Then maybe I should have offered you a bottle of fire water. That would have been traditional, wouldn't it, Marshal? Tell me something, Dirksen. Why here? Why this town? Sometimes, when you're pushed to the rim of the world, there's no place else to go. Did you 
arrest him? No. I have no evidence. Now go on home, Mr. Keller. He bribed you, didn't he? Now you listen to me and you listen hard. We're not going to have a vendetta in this town. I want that clearly understood. Maybe before today you had no choice, but now I'm here as a United States Marshal. There'll be no more killings and no more lynchings. Anyone who doesn't see it that way will answer to me. A Charlie's funeral. It's even now, isn't it, Frank? Not for long. I think the old man ought to be next. Here, cotton, some blankets. I thought you left town. Uh, no, sir, uh, not yet. Uh, you see, I've got a problem, Marshal. I'm a coward, but I figured with you around to straighten things out. Well, there's always a, another stage tomorrow. Well, thank you for your vote of confidence, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Besides, uh, I figured you could use a friend. After all, there's nobody around to bury you, in case you need it. Oh, you know what I mean. Perfectly. Ain't much, is she? Nope. I hope you know what you're doing, Marshal. After Dirksen. Tell me something. Why did you bother coming to me? You know why. I want to see Dirksen dead as much as Frank or any of them, but not that way. You coming? I live in this town, Marshal. You don't. Nobody's going to live here unless we stop both Keller and Dirksen. suggest you do that. That's the only way you'll get Dirksen tonight. Don't make me call your bluff. It's no bluff. We're riding out of here tonight, and you're not going to stop us. You're wrong. Well, then you better go back to Santa Fe, because you never understand. I just know one thing. There's always a Dirksen somewhere. What do we do, lynch them all? He's playing a game with you. Do you think he respects that piece of tin that you wear? You stand in their way, and they'll kill you. And the next marsh that comes along until they find one that does things their way. There's only one answer. You know it as well as I do. That's right. Just one answer. One you have a hard time remembering. The reason I'm here. All right, I want all of you to go home. One at a time. Move!
exactly where you are. Maybe the marshal's right, Frank. No, he's wrong. Dixon won't stop until he gets us all, one by one. been like. I've seen a dozen men die, senselessly. I do understand. I saw my whole nation die senselessly. I want you to stay in town tonight, Keller. I live on a ranch, Marshal, and that's where I'm going. Unless you want to arrest me. started for the ranch. I thought I'd give you a hand cleaning up, Marshal. Oh, thank you, Mr. Smith. Though I don't know why we bother. This place wouldn't hold a duck-toed maverick, in my way of thinking. Well, let's fix it. All right. So. Yes. To believe me, Ann. I thought it was a trap. We broke a wheel. We were just trying to fix it, standing in the middle of the road. What do you want from me? A public apology? I think I'd better lock you up. I warned you. I told you to stay in town, but you wouldn't listen. You wanted something to happen so you'd have a free hand to kill. There have been a lot of men throughout history, Killer, who tried to justify themselves and the murders they committed. You can't call this murder? I don't care what the circumstances were. You killed an innocent boy. Maybe some judge will let you go. Maybe Aaron here will forgive you. But as far as I'm concerned, you've gone beyond the point of forgiveness. Just one thin line between order and chaos, Killer. You were looking at it. Come on. Hello, Marshal. I can't pin a badge on a thief and a patchy. Oh, Get it. You'll never hold me. What do you think your life would be worth with Dirksen out there free? You know, you taught him pretty well, Killer. What do you mean? I mean, when a man sets himself up to be a judge, he finds himself often judged by the guilty. Now you're deputized, both of you. Marshal, uh, 
Yes, I know, Doctor. You live here. But I thought this town meant something to you. Why don't you stand up and fight for it? Don't you have any pride? It's been taken from us. Marshal! Send them out here! in my custody. Nobody can touch him. You're under arrest, Dirksen. For what? Among other things, conspiracy, robbery, and the murder of Charlie Jackson. <laughs> oh, no, you're wrong, Marshal. Keller's the murderer, and we're going to hang him. Now, uh, we may be a different kind of committee, but we're just as legal. I, I think you understand that. All right, Dirksen. Both barrels are cocked. You make one move, and I go down shooting. How many do you think I'll get? Four, five, maybe six. I told you to stay put. All right, Dirksen. You drop your gun belt and walk in that jail. You willing to sacrifice your life for this town, Marshal? I don't think it's worth it, do you? Any town is worth it. Now do as I told you. We're going to get Keller, Marshal. But you're not going to stop us. I'm warning you, Dirksen. I heard about you, Marshal. I don't think you'd shoot us down in cold blood. Doctor! We've got a patient. to go ahead and bloom without you. Well, let's see. See? You look beautiful, Tess. Thank you, Sam. Did you talk to that vigilante committee, Sam? Uh-huh. Did they listen to you? Well, it took a little doing, but they finally did. Didn't I tell you they would? Yes, you did, Tess.